Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Now guys, the arrest of Omoyele Shoure by uh, Malam Buhari and his cabal may well prove to be the best thing that has ever happened to that guy Omoyele and the worst thing that has happened yet to this regime. So with that guys, I bring you this. Omoyele Shoure nominated for US Prisoner of Conscience Honor. So that's the headline. Omoyele Shoure nominated for United States prisoner of conscience honor so now let's now find out exactly what is going on here the convener of revolution now protest mr omoyele jore has been nominated and may be given the prisoner of conscience honor award by the tom lantos human rights commission of the united states house of representatives so this is actually a governmental department the house of representatives in america that are looking to do this the publisher of sahara reporters who was released by the department of state services dss by the order of the attorney general and minister of justice abubakar malami was commended by many for his resilience and determination for a better nigeria report published by sahara reporters has it that so this is a story coming from sahara reporters by the way so of course you have to have that implicit bias at the back of your mind so report published by sahara reporters has it that tom lantos human rights commission is charged with promoting defending and advocating for international human rights u.s lawmaker josh gutheimer sponsored shores nomination According to him, for months now, I have been working closely with the Shoure family, the Howard community, the State Department, and my colleagues to advocate on Yele's behalf. We are urging the Nigerian government to protect Yele's safety, provide him with the due process he deserves, and ultimately permit him to return home as soon as possible. We will continue watching the situation in Nigeria, a democracy seeking closer ties with the United States. So that's a hidden threat right there that look, you want closer ties with our country, but you are practicing this sort of a barbaric behavior which does not align with our own world view. So that's the hidden threat in that statement, a democracy seeking closer ties with the United States to make sure that the government respects basic human rights. So now you see again, because we've had this sort of comments coming from the UK as well, when they were applauding Nigeria for observing the rule of law, and these people are now supervising Nigeria to respect rather basic human rights. So this is really now a very visible lowering of the country's status amongst the international community. Because if we're at that point now where we need this level of supervision, to observe the very basic then that just then tells you all where the reputation of the country is and the reputation of the country was not always like this it used to be and then it was evolving out of it to become like a middle income and a middly respected sort of country but then of course it has been regressing since 2015 when buhari uh, took over because he's reverting to his ways in the 80s when he's just wanting to be this strong man that knows more than everybody even though he does not know anything to the point that if he doesn't have his way he will chain you to the to the chairs he will chain you to the gallows tie you to the stakes and have you shot and all this kind of behavior to that point now where all these countries are now feeling the need to talk down at us to observe the basics of human rights and uh, the united kingdom is sending us uh sending out tweets rather congratulating nigeria for observing the rule of law for the government obeying uh or complying with the court order so this is now the direction of travel that this country is now embarked upon but really this whole narrative is now making a real hero of this uh omoyede shore character because if they had let him have his demonstration in lagos then he would have had that demonstration the police would have picked them up if they gotten out of hand uh and gotten too rowdy 
I held him for a week, bound him over to good behavior, and set him on his way. But all this now detention and treasonable felony, all this nonsense that they've they've now made a hero out of this guy now, and this guy's name now is now resonating internationally to the point that it's been discussed in the in the Congress in the United States, it's been discussed in the Parliament in the United Kingdom, it's certainly been discussed in the embassies, and you saw the American representative at the last uh, Shobore appearance in court. So you see already now that they have made a superstar now out of this guy. They should have just settled him down and just ignored him and then let him have his uh, shouting. And once he's tired of uh, shouting, then he will just move on. Because you will be surprised that the media don't actually like this guy. So Ure is not actually popular amongst anybody within the Nigeria uh, intelligentsia or within the Nigeria media space or within the Nigeria middle classes even. And certainly not in the upper classes of society where Shoure is popular is with the everyday man and the students this is really where his constituency is the everyday man and the, and the students these are the people really that are uh, rally to his call and he can continue then to stand in that uh, uh, street corner with his microphone shouting and shouting the people will gather and listen and once they've gotten bored of it they'll just move on so they could have used that tactic but then of course you know there's no real functioning intellect within the Buhari structure and I'm sure Yemi Oshibanjo would have want them, a date called him to sound out his opinion, but of course they won't sound out his opinion because they don't trust him because he's a southerner and a Tinubu boy. But then of course really the point is they, there's no real functioning brain within that, that whole setup and the people that they look to, the Dauras, the Kiaris, yes these people are educated but they're very narrow-minded in their view, they're very parochial, they're very suspicious they don't really see the Nigerian entity in the same way that uh, well, the rest of the country might well see it. And they see it at best as a master a servant relationship with them being the masters having dominions over the southerners because this is really their thinking and anything that lends itself to that is just really what they want to pursue and anything that sits outside of that is something that they need to you know smash down and destroy immediately and that is really their answer to everything which is really the point that they are making it is smash down and destroy which is the tactic that they tried to use with Shore, which is one now that has now Backfired to the point that the international community is now paying attention to the goings on within the Nigerian space. Because when this Buhari came in, a lot of people in the international community were of the thought that, oh, this is an anti corruption guy that is going to clean up that country so we don't have to worry about those people for that much longer. But within the first six months of this guy, they immediately realized that this is really a different sort of animal. And this guy has been regressing the country back and regressing the country back to now the point that we are now in this jam jawit type situation but so where is now that albatross that is now hanging around their neck and how they handle this show uh, situation is what is going to make or break this uh, Buhari regime one thing you know for certain is that uh, show is not just going to go home and sit down quietly so where we get into the media space as quickly as he can and he might well tweak his language a little bit but his uh, mission will remain the same for the betterment of the country and the end of corruption so he will continue to fight this fight uh now that he has his liberty and if they come and pick him up again and i think shore will have to tweak his language as well so that they don't then latch on to that so we need to have first that discussion around that word revolution if he wants to continue to use that because he's not calling for a violent overthrow of the government we certainly do not have that impression that he is doing that but is asking for a revolution against the state of affairs of the country and we certainly do need that so this is really where the conversation is but this guy has now been given a louder voice now to speak to a broader spectrum of people because you can be certain that there will be a lot of people coming to his hotel room in Abuja to interview him and a lot of those people will be the international media
media and you know for certain of course the sort of message that Ashogore will be passing on to them so they've made a bigger voice for this guy and giving him a, a platform that was greater than the one that they had previously so this is why a lot of us say there's no real IQ there's no real intelligence there's no functioning brain within this Buhari setup because this is something really that did not really require that much thinking and certainly did not require this much action but there was no thinking and there was a lot of action and the consequences now these are demon this now new monster they have created and how they are going to tame it is the next now thing that they have to contend with conversations in the comment section uh Shogure is about to be given a prisoner of conscience uh honor by the americans and by the way this is a signal to the uh, Buhari regime by the Americans because if this is coming from the House of Representatives in America then you can take it that this is also like a government position so if this is coming from the House of Representatives what they are saying to the Buhari regime in effect is that look we are paying up attention to this guy he must not be harmed and uh, he must not be harassed or harangued and he must not be brutalized and if he is harassed or harangued then you will have us to answer to and no matter how much crazy Buhari thinks he has in him I don't think he's crazy he's 10 percent of Donald Trump's crazy if he wants to see crazy then let him go and take on Donald Trump but I don't think even he uh, is full and enough to go and try that conversations in the comment section like I said come share thoughts about all this with me in the comment section but before you do that Click on the red subscribe button so it turns grey. The bell button notifies you every time I drop a new video. Then come tell me what you are making of this uh, way that the Malam Buhari regime is handling the Shogure matter in the comment section. So I'll leave you here. Carry on with you in the comment section. But here I say peace.